Hey everybody, time for the next update on the MR2 engine build. Um, going ahead and install the AC compressor in this uh, clip. Um, went ahead, got brand new bolts and nuts directly from Toyota. And then the compressor that I'm installing is the Denso first time fit. Um, I went ahead, drained out the oil that came in it from the factory. It had about four ounces, just, just a little bit shy. So have that stored in a separate container and I'm gonna get this mounted on the engine block. All right, so here we are, compressor is mounted. I went ahead and torqued the two nuts and the two bolts to 18 foot pounds in the proper order uh, as recommended in the manual. I uh, got the belts installed finally, so everything is where it's supposed to be. Uh, and did hook up the connector to the compressor as seen here. So uh, AC is on, like I said, I drained all the oil out of it. Uh, once it's installed in the car, I'll put the four ounces back in as well as uh, what I need to top off the system. Uh, next is going to be the two headers. Uh, let me get those and we'll get those installed. Okay, here are the headers that are going on. These are the ones that I picked up from Frankenstein. Uh, these were his uh, first gen version. I know now he's working on a cast setup, but I got these before he uh, had the change in place. So uh, they're going to be going on with OEM gaskets and OEM nuts. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the flanges cleaned up on the block as, as well as removing the plugs that are installed on both sides and uh, start getting these things mounted up. All right, and here we are. This side has been installed. I went ahead and took a wire wheel, uh, cleaned off the flanges on the head, installed OEM Toyota gaskets, uh, mounted this thing up and torqued everything to 21 Newton meters per the big book. Um, everything went in pretty well, had to use a quarter drive torque wrench with a wobbler socket just to get a couple of these. Uh, crow's foot would work as well, I just didn't have a 12 mil crow's foot. So uh, this side is done, now it will be on to the next. Same thing done on the other side, went ahead again, took a drill with a wire wheel, cleaned up the flanges, installed OEM Toyota uh, manifold gasket, OEM studs and the uh, header from Frankenstein, everything torqued 21 Newton meters. So uh, we are all set here, have the headers installed, the front drive assemblies all together with a seat compressor on there. Uh, and then same thing with this side, header installed, the oil line was replaced in the last video. Uh, so this engine is pretty much done as far as I can go right now. Um, waiting on the wiring harness from Paul. It's in the mail. I'm actually hoping to have it in the next day or two. Um, and then just waiting to get the car back. So uh, I'll put the flywheel and clutch and everything on once uh, the car is back and I take this off the stand. Uh, but until then, that's really all I can do at this point in time with the engine. Um, so next clip will be of the uh, harness from Paul Woods once I receive it. All right, and I just wanted to finish up by going over the patch harness that I just received in the mail from Paul Woods today. So, um, as you can see, it comes pretty complete. Um, it's the harness. Uh, he had me send him photos of my transmission plugs on the Sienna harness, as well as my ECU plugs and fuse box plugs in my car, uh, so he could make sure he had the correct connectors and everything. Uh, and everything is here and ready to go. Um, I already checked the, the plugs for the transmission, the, the three plugs on the Sienna harness, those bolted in perfectly. I obviously can't check the other stuff because I don't have the, the car here. Um, but as you can see, it includes the 202 extensions, it includes the mass air sensor extension. Um, you have a roll of tape, you have the hole saw bit for a drill, the grommet, because you do have to add one hole to the firewall and uh, as well as the sensor for the uh, coolant, which it'll be the three wire sensor. Um, so you have uh, everything all in one location versus having to, to, to find a way to make you know, the, the two sensors work. Um, so we are all set here, um, looking forward to getting the car back and you know doing this install. There's really nothing else I need at this point in time other than my car back. So uh, this will probably be the last update for a little while until the body shop finishes the work that they have to do on the body and getting it painted. Um, so it's probably going to be a month, possibly two, before I have that car back and they get to actually start this project. So um, keep yourself you know, or keep your ears open. You know, if you want to subscribe, you know, you'll see stuff once I can post it, and uh, we'll go from there. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.